hey guys welcome back in this video we are going to look into the understanding of schemas so you usually hear around that you need to create your data model for that you need to understand your sql very well and then you have to create an optimized schema that will be you know utilized in your whole application and you need to scale it you need to create an etl you need to take it to the warehouse or you need to catalog it or something like that so there are some of the terms and some of the structure that i am going to try to explain you guys into a simple format and i have created a simple differentiator between the schemas so we have three types of schemas let's go to the first type of schema which is the star schema so this is very simple to understand what is a star schema over to here you can see a fact table so in this fact table you will have all the measurable data that means let's say sales revenue quantity okay uh, let's say uh, you have uh, ferret charges xyz you will have all those data over to here and based on that particular set of transactional data you will have some ids so those id will be let's say product id customer id or some composite keys in your prospectus this is just an sample uh, image of a star schema but in reality you might have some composite keys that uh, that will be linked so that composite key will actually be linked to your dimension table so this is your we can just say that this is your measure table or uh, or fact table and this is nothing but your dimension table okay so these are your dimension table whichever is linked to your fact table is nothing but dimension table it will be linked via one key and rest will be all filters okay as you can see or one key and all our filters so in the same way you can actually create this kind of architecture or this kind of schema in your clicksense backend and it is not that difficult to make it is just you need your sql to be very clear you need to have the basic understanding of whatever i have taught in this particular uh, course very well and then you are able to do this there are a lot of courses outside for free and for paid in udemy coursera wherever you go which will teach you how to create your star schema or try to create an optimized schema in any of the tools tools you shouldn't be dependent on any tool click sense is just a tool but understanding the schema is the best you can do so you need to understand your data first then and only then you can actually select one of your schema i will even tell you that what schema i usually prefer but this is the schema this is the star schema let's go on ahead with a snowflake schema snowflake schema is exact opposite to star schema it looks a similar like star schema but trust me it is very different so i have taken a very different example also people will give you an example let's say if uh, this transaction id is actually connected to another table here then you actually can tell that this is a, a star schema okay so that is also one of the property but i have taken a different example over here okay so over here as you can see this is kind of a uh, crm kind of a thing so if you don't know what is a crm crm is a tool which is available for free or for paid also you can manage your so content management system which actually has this kind of schema so there will be an order table id which will be connected to an order id there will be a product id which will be connected to the product id and uh, there is uh, let's say a product category id which is nothing but uh, over here which is connected over here and uh, there is no id connecting here but over to here you have an a customer and employee id so employee id actually 
goes here and connect over here customer id will connect to the customer id over here and uh, let's say over to here there is customer id city id so city id actually goes here and connects here and department id over here actually goes here and connects here this is technically a crm so see in so you can actually use the same structure which is available in your crm as well and you can actually load that data into your click sense you need to drop some tables or rename some columns also uh, it depends on the use case but uh, frankly speaking i have actually done that so i have created this kind of snowflake schema also just taking the raw schema from the source let's say i have uh, spotify uh, sorry shopify data so for shopify data we get an op an option to get the whole schema also so i have actually taken the whole schema and just showcased it over there and i have done the analysis so you this is also a right option to actually take it this is not bad so people might say or some developers might say that you should go for shard schema this is very fast or snowflake schema or something like that that we will not have much work to do here and there is one more schema which is called as single table schema so in the star in the snowflake schema you need to understand that if you have a use case where you actually cannot convert that snowflakes into a star schema which is highly possible that you actually cannot convert it sometimes but in the majority of the cases you can actually do that but it depends on the use case depends on the data and depends on the kpis that is to be defined then and only then you can actually select one of the schemas so this schema you can say is multiple uh, table connected or multi table related and it is a normalized table also and the data which flows here is actually normalized because it is actually distributed okay but this takes memory this will eat up your ram memory this will take so i can just say that the ram memory which snowflake schema and the star schema take will take is more or less the same okay if you convert it to uh, a snowflake schema uh, a snowflake to a star schema more or less the memory utilization will be same it depends on what type of uh, functions what type of uh, keys and everything that you actually use so it depends so it kinds of creates a hierarchy hierarchical structure so dimensions are distributed across tables with certain set of keys and certain set of keys actually are connected to another table which have certain types of dimension which you can actually look into here another schema as i told you is called the single table schema so i personally love this type of schema because all the data coming from everywhere i will just do my joins or i will just use concat using a, a additional flag that i actually create let's say this data is coming from employee so i will just add a call a new column called as employee flag or just call a column called as flag and i will just add a text employee master over there salary data is coming i will just tag it salary data and i will just join it okay so so that will create some specific flags and i can play around with those flags and i can create a single table so it can be a pre join table or it can be a different table so you have to understand that which kind of data is to be added or which type of data is to be concatenated when the concatenation of such data is done then you will have a single data for in my case i have just specified that simply employee data table is present for me when this is there so it has certain advantages and certain disadvantages let's go to the advantage and disadvantage so in simple way i'll encapsulate everything that i have said is i have categorized into five sections first is response time ram consumption script runtime 
flexibility complexity okay so let's time start with snowflake schema having these parameters so response time is satisfactory where i can say it is okay okay ram consumption is good script runtime is good flexibility of that model is not good because there are too many tables that you have to deal with it, it is kind of a spider web trust me complexity is there because it is kind of a spider web that is why so but it in the exact opposite way if you see the star schema where people or developers might tell you that please use star schema okay instead of snowflakes this is because why they tell you is because the response time and ram consumption is good and whatever is poor or bad or over to the snowflake schema is excellent in star schema let's say scrim uh, script runtime flexibility and complexity is not that much because you actually have one fact table okay one fact table which is connected to the dimension table here okay so two dimension table is actually connected to a fact here so over to here when you filter something here it automatically it will go over here only and it will try to filter same goes with this particular table so this is very helpful but over here it will go from year to year then year then it will go over here so it is kind of a spider web that utilizes a lot of time as well as a lot of memory where the complexity is high in star schema complexity is very low it is highly flexible script runtime is also very nice ram consumption and response type is also good but i personally like using a single table schema so this is my kind of a choice because the complexity of data and the requirement that is flowing from the stakeholders is such that uh, you kind of have to go with star or single table you don't you will not really have an option so single table is like doing flags and you can manipulate using front end so the advantage is that response time is very fast because you don't have to look into anything you just are going to filter the specific rows directly flexibility is excellent because technically there are no connected tables there complexity is uh, zero because you have concatenated or joined everything into one single table but the ram consumption and the script runtime or script what you actually write is a little complex the script what you write has a lot of joins has a lot of concat has apply map god knows what what because of that if so the script is very hard to understand and if there is any changes then it will take some time for you to rectify it ram consumption is also poor or i'll say high the ram goes actually high because the whole table is actually stored into the ram directly when you open the table, when you open the application so that technically helps in our front end so when you if you ask as per the front end then single table is very fast okay in response that is why the response time of single table is very fast it is excellent but star schema is good and snowflakes is satisfactory this is because i use the single table because the user complains that my app is slow so i will go with star or single table this will be my choice to go forward with the modeling or schema this is a basic structure which is followed across so i have tried to define a kind of a approach to you all guys so i have some source data source data is actually going to your etl this etl will store the data into the warehouse the warehouse might have some data mining from python or some other tools which will get that data also and it will store in some data marts for example for sales finance hr etc so when you want to convert this in the uh, 
click format so you will have multiple sources and your etl here okay then from here you will have another final app let's say final app which will utilize this etl and some bunch of other qvds and you will start showcasing your data so this can be actually coming from the data mart also so this can actually comes from the data warehouse also so there are a lot of data warehouses around for example you can for example uh, you will have snowflake teradata microsoft azure uh, amazon redshift then you have uh, cloudera uh, you will have marklogix xyz you will have a bunch of more names if you search if you actually working with somebody so some might be using snowflake some might be using teradata but it technically doesn't matters because the data mart or the data warehouse will only change but the sources will always remain the same data will come from one place it has to be into an etl then it has to be stored somewhere in the data warehouse then is to be distributed to the application where you will create some your own set of etls for your data and then you will utilize the whole set of data to create a dashboard for let's say hr sales finance etc